kids, we are ready to start a new book that's going to last all week long. Are you ready for the treasure tree? Now, I want you to be listening, and I want you to be thinking about which one of these characters is like you. All right, and we'll talk about it in the end. But today, we're going to talk about the biggest, bestest birthday party ever. How many of you guys have had a birthday since I've seen you? A bunch of you, right? I wish I could be there for every single one of you but let this be our little birthday celebration. Here we go. All the forest animals had gathered for the biggest, bestest birthday party ever. There were four birthday cakes and four places of honor. And four best friends were sitting in those special places, all cheering and laughing. There was Lance the lion wearing a red party hat. He always walked and talked like he was in charge. Next to him, with a purple hat on, was Honey, the Golden Retriever. Her friendly brown eyes and caring ways made others feel all toasty warm inside. Next to Honey, at the right, was Chewy the Beaver. He was wearing a shiny yellow hat. Chewy always wanted to do things just right. He was measuring just how wide to cut the pieces of cake. There's a right way to cut this cake, he said and that's the way I'm going to do it. All right, so here's some pictures. Here's Lance with his red hat. Oh, he's in charge. And Honey down here, the little golden retriever, makes things just toasty, warm, and beautiful. And then there's the beaver, right? He always, Chewy, just wants to make sure everything is done precisely right, measuring everything. I bet he's good at math. Standing in the chair next to Chewy was Giggles the otter. Giggles was wearing a hat with orange polka dots on it. She seemed to have fun and to spice every meeting of the friends up. Watch this, she called out as she tossed her piece of cake high into the air. No hands! It was an expert throw, but unfortunately, the cake did not make an expert landing. It fell right on the otter's nose, covering her face with icing. Everyone laughed and laughed at the sight of Giggles covered with icing. Then it was time to open presents. So here's Giggles, just as you would suspect, covered in icing. Do you have a friend that's kind of like Giggles? Or a sister or a brother that's kind of like Giggles? I just flashed through all your guys' faces and thought about how many of you guys were like Giggles. <laughs> the last present was from the wise old owl and it was to all four of the best friends. Lance, Giggle, Honey, and Chewy were very excited as they tore open the big package. Finally, after digging through all the paper and having to help Giggles out of the box, which she had already fallen into, they found something on the very bottom. So here's the wise old owl who given them a package, right? And here they are working nicely together to get to the bottom of the box, except for the fact that Giggles fell in. But that's okay. It's a map, said Giggles. Ooh, I love maps, said Chewy. In fact, it was a very old map with four strange riddles. It was Honey who read out loud what the words said. Follow this map and find four keys that open the gate to the treasure tree. To first find this rule is law, you'll have to search to the very last straw. Key number two is by the sea, hidden away where none can see. For the third treasure key, here's the rhyme. Listen with your heart and don't waste time. If to the treasure tree you want to race, you'll have to see what's out of place. All right, there's four riddles. Do you guys wanna see the map? Here's the map. And there's the four riddles. We'll hear those again and again, won't we? Because those are the four riddles they have to find. Treasure, they all said together. Do you guys like going on a treasure hunt? I do, it's super fun. Maybe you can make one for your little siblings or your friends when you guys get together. Oh, thank you, Owl. Let's go, said Lance the Lion. I'll lead us into the treasure tree right now. Lions are kind of always in a hurry. But shouldn't we talk first about what we should do, asked Honey the Golden Retriever. I haven't had time to get everything packed, said Chewy. 
He was already thinking of all the things to put in his backpack. He's always ready, isn't he? Be nice to have a friend like that. Hey, we haven't played with any of the birthday games yet, said Giggles. They all agreed to finish the party first. Then, after more yummy cake than they should ever have eaten in two birthdays, they decided what to do. They would start out the next morning and follow the map to find the four golden keys. And so began four great adventures that would lead them to the treasure tree. And I'll read you the next part tomorrow. Awesome. I love you guys. It's going to be a fun adventure. See you soon.